five years old when I got it. And um, I don't really remember, but my mom always tell me about it. I got it. I wasn't very scared to get it. And I was brave. When JC was born, she was born in Coos Bay, she wasn't turning her head when I would talk, and so I just did little tests here and there, and my husband would come home. I said, I don't know if she can hear, and he'd just do a test, like clap his hands or bang pots and pans, and oh yeah, she can hear, she would look. And so, you know, I didn't worry, and then I did a little test on my own, and it was in her room, and she was in the crib, and she uh, was crying for me, and I snuck under around her bed, and it was dark, and I'm saying, JC, JC, I'm right here. And um, she didn't look, and so I thought, you know, she cannot hear me. We just kind of started to do the testing for a cochlear implant. Cami made the decision. She said, we're going to do this. Well, I was really just on the fence at that, at that point, didn't know which way to go, and that just, I, you know, supported her in that, and, and we decided that was the, what we should do. She was a great candidate for a cochlear implant, and we had it all scheduled to get her surgery done and it was terrifying because <laughs> it was a surgery we had to you know have her go to sleep and just have this scary surgery but all through this process you know we gave her an option we asked her if she wanted to hear if she wanted to be able to learn to speak better and she wanted to, you know. I began school with my cochlear implant and learned how to talk. I just act like I'm normal and nobody really cares. They just like the way I am. JC, sometimes she has a hard time with the listening, uh, if it's too much information all at once, and, but she's doing a lot better now. It's taken a few years for her to to be able to understand the things that are being said. But with the cochlear implant, I feel like it's been a huge benefit for her. I was pregnant at the time. We got a cochlear implant for JC. And when we had Callie, she was born in May of 2005, and we had her tested right away, and she failed her test. And so we got, took her to the audiologist, and she got it. ABR, where they measure the brain waves, and we found out she was profoundly deaf as well. And so I had mixed feelings. It was just like this overwhelming feeling of gratitude that, you know, JC has a, a sister who has this in common, and also just this overwhelming feeling of, oh, we have to go through all this again. For me, um, I didn't care if they ever learned to talk. I thought my girls were perfect, so, so they didn't need anything else, but I thought that if having that implant would help them hear a car coming up behind them or some kind of danger, that it would be worth it at that point. We were bombarded at first by everybody um, wanting us to, they called them camps, are you this, in this camp or that camp? Um, the deaf culture is really strong and uh, the deaf community is really strong and a lot of people within that community are really against changing their culture by, by getting the, the implant. I know there are some strict uh, views about it and you know as an audiologist I think it's important that I provide the options for the patient and uh, let them decide from there. I think that having the the audiologist has been really helpful and the teacher for the deaf we've had Anne Goodwin here and she's just amazing. We love Anne because she's worked with JC and Callie from the time they've been, they've been really young. You know a cochlear implant just doesn't fix a hearing. Children that are born deaf when they first hear sound, they don't know what it is. And so you need to have somebody working with parents to help guide them through that. Things that we take for granted, like we learn language incidentally just by hearing it. With a lot of deaf and hard of hearing children, they have to be taught those things. You know, having 
this total communication has been the best choice for our family. JC is able, I mean, we can speak to each other in sign language, but I also feel like it's important for her to be able to talk with people freely and, you know, be independent. You know, I understand people have different feelings and I respect that. But, and I'm not going to go fight them and say they're wrong or anything like that. But for us, this was the decision that was the best.